the Giuseppe Miazza Stadium, home of one of the giants of the world game, Milan. It's no coincidence that since the arrival of a young Franco Baresi at the club in 1977, Milan have won 19 trophies. That's out of a total of 36 won by the club since they were founded in 1898. Baresi won just about every honour available at club level, but after 531 league games, he caught it a day at the end of last season. There were, of course, other significant factors in the Milan success story. In the 80s and 90s, the club attracted not just the best Italian talent, but also the best in European football. But the constant factor was Baresi, the ever-present defensive rock on which Milan's phenomenal success was built. And he became a renowned figure on the world stage, unusual for a defender. But he's got the medals to prove it. Eighty-one caps for Italy, thirty-one as captain. Three World Cup appearances. Six Italian league titles. Three European Cups. And two World Club Championships. And it'll be a long time before any team matches Baresi. Milan's extraordinary run, set five years ago, 58 games unbeaten in Serie A. As a defender, Baresi had speed, technique and positioning, using those skills to anticipate danger and close down attacks. He could also be tough when he had to be. Although Baresi didn't play in the 1982 World Cup winning team, former Juventus defender Antonio Cabrini remembers the impression the young Baresi made on him. He influenced cup record is impressive, but ultimately unsatisfactory. One semi-final, one final, but he never picked up a winner's medal. The closest he came was in the 1994 final in Los Angeles. I'd been injured, so I had no idea I was going to play in that final. I'd hurt myself during the second match in just 18 days after my operation. Saki was brave enough to play me. It was a great risk, but my knee... Few now remember how Baresi and the rest of the below-par Italians held out against Brazil for 120 minutes. Instead, it was Baresi's failure from the penalty spot, which sticks in the mind. We had terribly bad luck with the penalties. And they, of course, will always remain a very sad memory for us. Baresi had shown himself to be all too human. He played on for three more seasons, winning one more championship with Milan, before deciding at the age of 37 to bring his career to an end. The Milan fans were never going to let him slip away quietly. And Baresi's send-off at the San Siro last October was a memorable night. Yes, it was a good event and I was lucky that so many great champions, colleagues against whom I fought a lot of battles, shared this emotional occasion with me. Hullet, Van Basten, Rijkaard, Ancelotti, Donadoni and also many other foreign stars I played against over so many years. It was a great evening seeing all those people who've shown me such love and all those Milan fans. Baresi even abandoned the defensive principles of a lifetime, making a dashing run into the box with impressive results. The goal couldn't have been better, even if we'd planned it. It was a wonderful moment because I've never scored that many goals. So that was the icing on the cake. It was great for me to score at my own farewell match. 
And just how seriously was he taking the game right up to the end? Well, he showed he'd lost none of that old bite. But then came his time to leave football for good. A moment of great emotion. I'd hoped I could resist, but I couldn't hold out any longer when I reached the stands. But I guess it's natural to have those feelings, because these people have always loved me, and they've shown me their love. More than 20 years in football, but are professionals never ready for retirement? Certainly it's not a nice feeling, but unfortunately we can't stop time. You have to appreciate that your life is about to change, your whole way of life. And that's why I tried to prepare in advance. Luckily, I have the chance to stay in the game, and that will definitely ease the pain. The Milan bond won't be broken, but Racy will now devote his time to developing the Milan youth talent. For such a pragmatic footballer, it's interesting to hear Baresi's views about the youngsters now in his charge. On his retirement, Milan took the unique step for them of also retiring Baresi's number six shirt, giving it a place of honour in the club museum. Of all the tributes he's received in his long career, maybe this meant the most. It's been a great honour that Milan have wanted to repay the enormous affection and respect I've always had for the club by putting my shirt there. So no one else will ever be able to wear it. It's a real honor for me. Will he miss it? Yes, of course. I wore it for so many years, I'll always be attached to it.